Craig, we know that personal branding is very important for job seekers, it's their online presence. But it's the same also important for employer branding because how they're presenting themselves and how they become a target or a magnet of talent so that people can come and work for them. And in your experience as an author and speaker, what are some of the trends or tips that you can give to uh, companies in terms of employer branding and how can they tell their stories? So this works two ways, right? So as a job candidate right now, <clears throat> um, companies are getting a lot of applicants, yes. but not a lot of follow through. Mm -hmm. And so if you're looking for a job, you have to make sure to follow through, uh, express your interest, uh, hit that employer up again and again to make sure they know that you're one of the people who's serious. Uh, and the same thing goes for employers, right? So if you know, uh, job candidates have a lot of options for because a lot of companies are hiring, right? So they're serial appliers right now, and they're just apply, apply, apply. So if you're a company that is really serious about a candidate, um, get on them fast, uh, make sure they know you're very, very interested, and make sure that what you're putting out in the world uh, on, you know, social places, on your career site, um, on your Facebook careers tab, uh, in your job descriptions matches uh, how you're following up in this process. The candidate experience is intimately tied to your employer brand. They're not separate things. Your employer brand should reflect what the candidate experience uh, should be expected to be. Yeah. And is it okay for a candidate to follow on LinkedIn or send a message to the recruiter or the hiring manager Hey, I applied to this, so I'm very much interested. Is it okay to do that these days? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, I, I so I I have always connected to everyone on LinkedIn immediately, mm -hmm. and if it's in the recruiting community, I'll even connect with them on Facebook, right? Because we all participate in these groups on Facebook. Yeah. Um, and so, if it's within your industry, and you know your industry is active in places like that absolutely connect because you're colleagues at the end of the day. And that's really how you want to approach the relationship in the first place. Thank you for those great tips, Greg. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of employer branding, please leave comments below and tune in next time for other great question with Craig.